What up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Milken Dream Young Baka, part of the mighty, mighty set known as Young Baka Production. We are back for another episode of B Side Forum. We do this every other Wednesday night at a special location, B Side Shop 626, uh, part of the B Side Show channel, dot, you know, network. All that good stuff, man. So, I got some special guests with me here. I'm going to introduce them. Go ahead and introduce yourself, man. Robles the one. Go ahead, man. There you go. Hey, man. Shout out to everybody. They call me Rod Daddy of Street Famous Entertainers. I like that hair, man. It's, it, I, I'm Listen, I'm jealous, man. I wish I could pull something like <laughs> hey, that. I get it. I look mama. so good. Hey, you be rocking the ball, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank, thankfully, I don't have a, a strange-looking head, so... We're gonna be doing no, and things. you don't got ears like mine, so yeah. you're good. Go ahead and introduce me. yourself, All man. right, my name's Swerve the King from Street Famous Entertainers as well. You feel me? From the 818. There you go. Hey, I got a lot of feedback on my mic, man, but it is what it is. Go ahead and introduce yourself. What's up? I'm Ash. What's going on, Ash? What's new? What's yeah. up? What's up? You got the Freddy Krueger uh, Fashion Line 2021. You you're killing oh, yeah, it, dude. Yeah. With the pocket. Where, where do you get something like that at? Uh, someone left it at my house. There so you go. I like that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Keep Fuck it real. Yeah. A woman left at your house? Oh. I don't know. It doesn't uh, matter. I'm not going to get you in trouble. It fits. That's all I'm not going to get you in trouble, Ash. I know when to take uh, a cue. I'll tell you like this. They leave anything at my house. I'm throwing that shit out. You A18 through and through, right? Absolutely. Born awesome. and raised. Born and raised. Born and raised. Chill. Born and raised. 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 Born and you're half Armenian, half what? Half Armenian, half El Salvadorian. That is a crazy combo, man. That is a crazy you know? combination, man. I don't think I've ever met anyone that was half Salvadorian, half Armenian. You know, it's funny. I dated a, a Mexican girl that was half Armenian. Half Armenian, half Mexican? Yeah, we made a full Armenian. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing this rap thing, man? Since I was about 14 years old. I did it till I was about 18, and then I stopped. Shit didn't pay money, so yeah. I started DJing for 10 years. Yeah, so when we, originally, you, met, yeah, yeah, yeah. When we originally met, I met you as a DJ. Yeah. So when did you decide to get back in the, in the hip-hop thing as an MC? When I started feeling like, you know, I was bored of, of listening to other people's shit, and I was like, man, I swear I got more bars than this, bro. Yeah. It has to be a frustrating thing when you're a DJ that makes music, and you have to listen to people's stuff, and just play it, and, you know, MCs kind of give you a little attitude, things like that. Shit, right? So. I know he's a good DJ. I know, I know DJ. he's a great DJ. That's how I met him. At. I met him as a DJ, man. Thank you, I thank had you saved my phone as DJ Fuzz. That's yeah. how you saved my phone as, man. Yeah. When's the last time you DJ? I mean, a few weeks back, but nothing, nothing major, man. Yeah. I, I haven't really been taking DJ gigs like that. So, so what's the gig that you DJ? Sorry. What is the gig that you DJ that last? Oh man, it was a little house party. Man. There you go. Hey, house parties are dope, man. Yeah, I, I it, came it up on house parties. Though. Yeah, good, man. Though. I can imagine, man. How long you been doing the hip hop thing, man? I've been doing hip hop since I was about like eight years old when I started writing. And I said, "Fuck it, I'm gonna start doing my own shit." You know, I gravitated a lot to lyricism on the East Coast, and of course on the West Coast. Yeah, but I like it all around. And I just wanted to create my own shit. Same question for you. When did you start doing the hip hop thing? Around 14 or 15, you know, like. I took my little Christmas money from like when I was eight years old to when I was you took 14. Your what? My Christmas money That's that my like family that. gave that me. That bought mental money. money. No, 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 that no. That bought mental money. I said got all these chains on. No, I wasn't. That, I wasn't that lucky. I'm I, yeah, I didn't give these up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn. You got every, you got every uh, symbol right there, man. There you go. So hey, I gotta represent. You feel me? Six, hey, that's a, hey, that's a good, that's a good way to edge your bets, right? You just believe in all the religions, right? No, I'm, one of them's gonna be true. I'm, I'm Jewish by blood. One of them's gonna be true, right? I'm Jewish by blood. Yeah. You feel me? This one's for money. And, you look like a Jew. And, and well, <laughs> is it the hair? Is it the no, nose? No, no, you don't look like Jewish at all, man. But you're Jewish by blood. Jewish by blood. Yeah. So who's who's Jewish in your family? My mother. Okay. Yeah. And then your father was just. Hungarian. There you go. Yeah, so I'm Hungarian and, and French Canadian and Polish. Do you. So people just classify you as white? Is that what usually happens? Cracker, uh, all the way through. Does that I get guess. you upset? Because, you, you, <laughs> because, because if you're Jewish and Hungarian, you have a lot of flavor in your system. No, for sure. So for people to just to classify you as white, that has to be frustrating. I mean, it's not super frustrating. I've always been accepted with, you know, I hung out with more of the brothers in the essays than I did with white people. I get along with them yeah. more. They got more flavor, more spice. Because you, you got know. that trip, man. I see it. I see it. I, I you got just, the most trip right here of everyone at the table, man. It's shining. <laughs> Every time I see you shining, man. Every time I see you shining. I just, this is a collection, though. Everything yeah. I done, done got, this is old. You know, this watch I done had for like 10 years. That's awesome, man. That's but awesome. Back, back, in the, back in the day, you know, I was getting way more money than I am now. And 
what were you doing back in the day to get way more money than you are now? <laughs> the same Let's thing. talk about it. Let's talk about the it. The same thing I'm doing now. But what, what actually, is that? I, actually, I was doing counterfeit money back in the that's day. That's awesome, man. That's amazing. That's one of my dreams. Honestly, that's one of my dreams. Well, nowadays, these new hundreds, it's, it's damn near it's, impossible. So now it's too hard to make counterfeit hundreds. Well, I can make you the old ones. Oh, they yeah. still work. Like the, 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 the ones right before the blue faces? Yeah. I got that down packed. So is that was that your hustle? You made counterfeit. Money? I was do I was doing that and hustling, you know, everything else. Were you were you somebody that washed the money? Were you somebody that got the counterfeit money and you washed it and you made it good no, money? No, I made it you, from scratch. You made it from scratch. From scratch. I would love to see that, man. Off the record, no canvas on. I would love to see that, man. That's amazing, dude. You have to be really smart to do that type of stuff. Well, no, I got taught. I didn't figure it out myself. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hey, shout out Peru. It, it shout out Peru, Peru on the counterfeits. Hey, on God, on God. Most of the most of the Peru was sending money, them. Most of the counterfeit money that was coming into the United States during that time was what, from what Peru. Was, what was the time frame? From what year to you? This what is year? like 2003 to 2015. They were just, I mean, killing it. That's awesome, man. Fives, tens, twenties, fifties, hundreds. Yeah, I've always heard. I've always heard that you saw with the lower, lower money because it's less suspicious. Right? Less if suspicious, you have fives sure. and tens, nobody really checks Twenties is the them. best. Yeah. Twenties is Why the is best. Why is twenties the best? Because it's the most frequently used dollar amount. Everything yeah. you're always breaking a dough. You always have twenties. Always breaking yeah. a dough. Yeah. You know, if it's ten dollars, ten, fifteen dollars, most people got a couple twenties. They break in a dub. and they don't, they don't look at it. As long as it feels right. 100%. Because it's so common, right? So and the passed by passed yeah. through our hands Hundreds. so many times. I've had a couple times where the motherfucker was like, this is fake and I'm keeping it. And I had to like snatch it back from his hand. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, yeah. The store. No. There was, um, if, if I have money in my hand, it doesn't matter if it's fake or real. I don't feel like in the United States of America, anybody should have the right to say, oh, I'm going to keep this because it's fake. That's still mine. No matter That's what mine. Happens, I don't give a fuck. Mine. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, whether yeah. you feel it or not, you need exactly. to you need to give it back and say, "I will not serve you." So I used to work at a construction company, and I was super young. I was like 18, 19. I would get my checks cash at a check cashing place, and my boss lost a book of checks, so he marked these invalid. These checks were invalid. He found the checks and he started using them again. So I went to the check cashing place. I'm going to go cash my check, and they said this was marked stolen invalid checks. We're keeping this. And I got really hot because I said, this, this is still my check. You have no right some fucking yeah, what S, the, essay that looks like a cash check in place to take my check. You know what I'm saying? Fuck no. <laughs> fuck bullshit, that's man. bullshit. I, I caused a big scene. The cops were called and everything. I got my check back. But nobody has the right to say anything. This, I'm keeping this. No, for sure. So what if, if you own a bodega, wouldn't you just be, oh, this is fake. I'm keeping it. No. <laughs> fuck no. <laughs> I'm going to no, tell you. It. I'm going to say yeah. respect. Nice try. Yeah. Have a good day. That's awesome, man. Because I've been there, you know? I, I, oh, you I, can I get respect the hustle. Hustle. I respect the hustle, man. It's that simple. When did you guys meet? Fuck. Man, I'm way back. Like, I want to say... We're going, we're going eight to ten years now. Yeah. So were you guys always collective? Were you guys always together? Nah, we we, 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 we work business-wise together. Yeah. You know, hustle together. What well, really know? got us together is, you know, our homeboy got smoked and shit, and he's the first one who hit me up, and, and it's I'm funny. sorry to hear that, man. Yeah, yeah, no, it's a tragedy, man. He was a good dude in Anaheim PD. He was, he was, was Anaheim PD. Shout out guy. my homie Guts, man. He was yeah. an A1A guy? R.I.P. Nah, he's from Mississippi. Oh, okay. But he, he's one, he, he was a oh, whale. Well, was it Tennessee? Tennessee. Tennessee. No, Tennessee. You sure? I swear to God. I don't know, man. It was a long time ago. He, he Listen, just connected from his Tennessee, family. Tennessee, all that's all the same in my book. You feel me? It's the South. It's the South. South is all the same in my book, man. But he separated from his family. He worked. He 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 was a... Was in the army, you know. Was military, and you know. That salute. even more, man. Yeah, it, more. It's a damn shame, bro. They, you know, like legitimately. And again, look, Black Lives Matter because, like, straight up, he got smoked for being black. Yeah. Straight up. Like they shot him in the back, in the of, back the head. of the head, he running away from running there. Away. And we went to the, the the kill site, and all he's like six three. All the shots, you see the fence. Start, it, bro. There's start no from the top shots. and go down. And no leg shot. Rest in peace, your boy. That sucks, man. Especially the fact that he was fighting for our freedom. The fact that we could do stupid shit like this is because of people like that. They go overseas and they fight for our freedom and stuff like that. But I like the image of you guys playing CSI, looking at the shots and doing the angles and stuff like that. That's <laughs> awesome. You know what I'm saying? I mean, dude, like, I we love it. I love the yeah. I oh, yeah, yeah. Multiple times? Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. We went in the night before. Oh, the night before. Money, Jeez, you know? man. And then he bailed out. And that I was guess the there's... second time I bailed him out. Yeah, yeah we, we, we bailed out. We, we got uh, counterfeit money. It's nothing. Right? <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, Jeez, I got hey, you, man. No problem. Your twenty is too high. No problem. No problem. Yeah. No. You gonna pay all the bell and five dollar bills? Hey, <laughs> thing, man. Yeah, yeah no. that's I, honestly, man. That sucks. Whenever you hear something like that, you know. 
But it, it's, it's, it's a tough time out here, man. It, it really is a tough time. So you feel like that 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 brought you guys closer together? Absolutely. Absolutely. That's, that's yeah. what brought us together. That's what man. brought us together to begin with. You know, uh, both of our our love for him. You know, and then we realized that that. He, he started pulling up on me in the valley. We started working together here. That's dope. And, That's and awesome. I started showing up shit. I was recording on Garage Band, and he was like, and he had the studio down south. And That's what so, you were saying before the cameras came on. You had the studio in San Diego. Yeah, right? I had yeah. a little little home studio. I was trying to do my own. I mean, I started, like I said, when I was 14. I used my Christmas money, and I bought an M-Box 2. I don't know if you remember. It was a little blue box that was like the first interface that came with uh, a Pro Tools 7.1 back in the day. And I... You know, figured it out. I got my little rocket speakers in my room underneath my bed and started recording myself. And when I, I kept going to juvenile hall, and when I, when I got, when I, when <laughs> can I, we say I, how many times, how many felons you had before 25? You I, had a lot, right? You well, have to say I, I enough, had, but you had a lot. I had 14, crazy. and then, and then the, the you cases. Hear this, That's crazy. The cases, 14 runs? No, 14 felonies total. Jesus fucking Christ. And I had three <laughs> cases back to back to back. It was crime, bail, crime, bail, crime. Like, each, each one of those bails is a two-year enhancement. I got caught by three schools. That was a three, five, and seven-year enhancement for each school. My max time they were trying to give me was like 72 years in the beginning. Jeez, the Thank the Lord. I, I got on my knees and I prayed. I was crying. Amen. Amen. And, and, the and right I begged color. God for a second chance. And I said, please. I said, what, please. Uh, uh, after 14, it's not a second chance. <laughs> it was the third, fourth, yeah. fifth. I don't know, After but, I, is not second but I said this is just fucked. I said, you yes. know what I mean? I was like, I'm about to get more time than a murder. And they came back. They came back with 14 years. Denied oh, so you it. went to trial? You went to trial? And they no, no, no. Well, I kept, I kept denying the yeah. deals. Yeah. Good you for know. you. That's awesome. And then, Good for you. well, yeah. but my attorney ended up coming. Your back attorney's to me. like, "Yo, what are you doing, dude?" No, no, no. He came time. back to me. He said, "Look, I couldn't get my son a better deal yeah. right now." At the end, he's like, "Look, you need to sign this right now because out of those three cases, he's like, they're wrong on all three. Like, we got them on illegal search and seizure. We got them on, you know, like." Okay, Good for you, man. That's awesome. Yeah. But one of them, because the, you're gonna go in front of a jury, and one of them, they're gonna be like, "You got busted three times, whether they did it illegally or not." If they get you on one of them, you get max time for all. What, what he's saying is that Joey's going to just look at you as this guy that's done all this stuff. Yeah. Even if they even if they got the information illegally or not, right? Doesn't matter. So I, what did you do? You said, okay, I'll take the deal? I, okay, took the deal. So they went from 14 to 7 down to 2. So I took the 2. Amen. And did you do the 2 years? Did the 2. Maxed it out. My God. Well, no. I, I, it was supposed to be 2 and half, but I kept getting in fights. I got caught with a cell phone. <laughs> was yeah. smoking weed in there. It was just acting a fool. Yeah. Good for you, man. I'm happy you're here. You know, seriously, man. I'm happy you're here. Me too. I really do Thank enjoy. You. I really do enjoy working with you guys. You guys have a good vibe. You have a good stage presence. You always bring the ladies. You guys, you guys are awesome, man. Seriously, man. Uh, and we appreciate Thank you, you Thank for you. the opportunity. No, I appreciate you. And then you get a couple of lights in your system. You're a little drunk and stuff like that. <laughs> you have been getting drunk a lot lately off a couple of drinks, right? Dude, it, you know, like I said, but I you never. Don't, you don't drink, right? That's not I, well, lately, I guess it's turning into yeah. something. But, <laughs> but before, before, no, I would never drink. Didn't smoke cigarettes. Just smoked weed. This guy used to talk the shit to me about drinking so much because I used to be a mad alcoholic. Like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. What is a mad alcoholic? Like uh, I would, I would be clearing a bottle Whole of bottle Jameson, of Jameson himself. A day. That's, that's crazy. That's yeah, crazy. yeah. What, what stopped you from doing that? Uh, you know what? I, I wanted to focus on the music and focus on myself and, and, and just save my money, up, bro. Honestly, and then you know, what it's means. hard to make good music when you're drinking a bottle of Jameson. I mean, I've made all them other no, tracks. Still doing it's it fine. Yeah, 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 no, it's, it's, it's crazy. Fine. You know, I but got that social lubricant in me. You yeah, feel man. Me? Hey, telling me, man. The only time I get loose, I have a couple of drinks in me, man. <laughs> um, Mo Bless. I want. I, I actually, how long you been doing this music thing? You have a different style than most of the cats you came up with, though, right? Yeah. Why? Why is that? What do you attribute that to? Um, I attribute that to uh, one of my homies. Is your mic on? No, no, yo, oh, there you go. There you go. Yeah, yeah, One of my homies, Lost Angel, aka Little Rascal. He was, he's from my neighborhood, you because I grew up gangbanging. What's you the neighborhood, if you don't mind me asking? It's just us My four, neighborhood yeah. is Sureños are in St. Prese, Bell Gardens. There you go. Bell Gardens, where I'm repping from and shit. You but, sold some $5 bills over there? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, man, I'll take the fives. I'll take the fives. But rap, you know, and, and hip-hop music was something totally different away from my gangster shit yeah. that I was fucking doing. You know, that just still inside of me. It wasn't my bloody shit, but... It's a little different, you know, so I decided to go a different route. You know, all my homies wanted me to do the Chicano rap and shit like yeah, that, but yep. I was more of a lyricist than telling the story from the neighborhood, you know, so I started doing my own music and shit. And Did you get a lot of feedback 
when you start doing that type of music? I did. I got a lot of feedback. A lot of people try to tell me, no, do it like this. Especially for your neighbor, right? Yeah, especially for the homies. Like, you got to do it like this and this and that. I'm like, nah. I'm Because at the end of the day, the music that I do is for myself. Amen. Amen. And then the people that were with me and people that listen to my shit, then that's a privilege that is for me when they come and see me at shows and just for me to put out my expressions and my feelings on track. It's such a great thing for me to do, such positive shit, you know, and it's, it's keeping me on track in life, you know? But it doesn't sound that way over the shit that I spit and how raw that I like to come out, you know? So what did you do when people said, hey, you should do it this way, you should do it this way? What do you say? You just say, hey, that's how I'm doing it? Yeah, pretty much. It. It Stop them in their tracks, you know, you do what the fuck you want to do, and I'll do what the <laughs> fuck I want to do and shit. I like that, you know, man, I, I like that. Rap the way I want to rap, that's me, you know? Yeah. You go on about your business. You don't like it, you don't have to fucking hear it, you know? Yeah, but that's your, that's your, that's your people, though. So it has to be a little tough, right? Yeah. It has to be a little yeah, tough. Yeah, it's now to when they're seeing me do shows with you and, yeah. and on the rise, you know, so, so to speak, that they're coming around now. They're like, oh, now I see what you're yeah. really into, you know, and that, that. It really is, it is a different type of thing than what the Chicano thing is. But I think, I think you do an amazing job, man. Yeah. Um, Thank you. Yo, Wobles, I, I really appreciate your business. I appreciate just hanging out with you. You know, we went out for drinks the other day. Yeah. Me, you, and Eclipse cool, just yeah. hanging out, man. I, I think you're a solid dude, man. Thank I, you, man. I think you're a solid dude. You know, in this industry, you guys know, in this industry, man, you meet so much shady people and things like that, yeah. man. But oh. I just, I, I appreciate all three of you guys, man. You yeah. guys always been solid A1, you know what I'm saying? Even the other night with the drinks, man, you know, we had a little issue with the drinks, but we talked we it out like some grown men, you know? <laughs> I, got you you trip, I got you a triple shot of tequila and you were good to go, <laughs> hey, man. I was good to go then a month ago. Um, but no, I, I really do appreciate you guys. And you know, they say the will always recognizes the will, but I can't, I can't express that enough. You know what I'm saying? When you meet some good people and you're a good person, it, you guys always gravitate to each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, thank for you. sure. How would you describe your music for somebody that hasn't heard it before? Um, a lot of it, I, I attack a lot of the commercial hip hop because I was tired of hearing the shit that's on the radio and the repetitive over and over and over again. The same candy ass beats, the same fucking ad libs, and I mean, it was just. Do you feel like everyone sounds alike? Huh? You feel like everyone sounds alike? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. I feel, I, I mean, I just started doing my own shit. I said, fuck it. I can make music, I'm gonna make it for myself. You know, that's why I Or an artist shit will just, yeah. like, they'll make a bunch of different tracks, but I, I feel like I'm listening to the same fucking track. You know what I mean? Yeah. So what do you th- what do you think your music sounds like for people that haven't listened to it before? I mean, we tried to do a variation of different things. I'm not a very good, you know, my 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 singing's not very good. So as far as for the ladies, we try a few times, but we transition from you know. You street- guys got some lady hits, though. No, we, uh, we, I we love try. It, man. We, we try. We do. But we got you know. <laughs> mo- <laughs> most of the shit I is just, just telling the story. Already. You know I what be- I mean? We're just trying to tell the story of the shit that we've been through and what we do, and and how we're out here. And a lot of these rappers, they be talking about shit that they don't do. It has to frustrate you, you, right? I mean, has, it's not frustrating. Somebody that's been through the trenches, it would frustrate me. I've been through so many fucked up sh- things and seen so many fake people. So if I was if I, if I was somebody that had X amount of felonies against him, I did this time, and I hear some kid from Palmdale talking about all the shit he did that he hasn't done, it would frustrate me. I mean, it's frustrating, but I'm not gonna let it. You know, like like they we say, we just fuck him up, man. Me and you, we'll just fuck him up. <laughs> me and Mobles, we'll fuck him up, man. We'll be awesome. There you go. Hey, it's got to be late night. Yeah. I gotta have the hoodie mask. You know, feel, you feel me? The gloves on. You don't, you don't even oh, have to say so we anything. rolling up bare face. I, I gotta do is fucking <laughs> point them out. Just be like, well, I think your hoodie. Guy. I think your hoodie and my hoodie are a little different. You know what I'm saying? Hey, <laughs> <laughs> I ain't even gonna ask questions. We're like, eh? hit, let's go. Let's roll. Let's roll. Feel me? You feel me? So, how would you describe music? How would you describe it, man? Uh, I mean, we do music for the hustlers, and, and I'm not saying like the drug peddlers. I'm saying everybody who's out there making their own money yeah, in their own hustle, lane. Yeah, if you hustle, I do you it hustle. for the ass shakers, you know, the thotties and, and the ladies. You know what I mean? There's I love a difference. The thotties, man. That's my main type of I love I the love thotties, but I like me a good lady, man. I'm like, as much as you can shake that What's ass difference and be with a thotty and a, and a, and a lady? Uh, the lady works. There you go. That's the only difference? <laughs> <laughs> the lady works is the only difference? I mean, you know, she, she What type of woman do you like? Uh, well, hold on. How old are you right now? Me, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, 33. So, 33 years old, what are you looking for? You're looking for a thotty. You're looking for some chicks to just pull up on your <laughs> way. You're looking for a woman that has a job and, uh, you know. Oh, no, I, I, I got a golden rule, man. I ain't fucking with you unless you got a car, a job, and a crib. I got this thing about, like, you, you can't, go ahead, go ahead. You can't come stuff. to my crib unless you got somewhere I could go to. But this is this is somebody. I, but this is I, I somebody. got this, this claim. I'm done fucking with the homeless sexuals. Wait a minute, what? <laughs> you know what a homosexual is? 
I don't know what a homosexual is. <laughs> no, 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 no. I fuck with no homosexual. No, I, I'm not here to judge, man. It's, it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what you thought he said too, right? No, no, I no. Oh, okay, okay. He said homeless sexual. The homeless the, sexual. The homeless sexual. Like, you might want to change it that saying. It's too close to each other. I get you. Yeah. Let, let me explain. The homeless sexual is somebody that comes to your crib that really doesn't have a crib to stay at, and so she comes over and she tries to fuck you and then just never leave your crib. You feel me? She wants to chill. Hey, what are we yeah. doing today? You say, what I are like, doing today? What you I mean? I like a day and a half later. I'm like, you going home? Yo, what? I gotta go to work. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here. Um, but you know what? I had a rule for that one. You never let them spend the night. You've never let a woman spend the night. Cage. Ah, ah, okay, all right. That's, that's ah, it. You had a rule. I like said, this is my rule, and it didn't happen. <laughs> but, this hey, is my rule. Never let them spend the night. You have to spend the night. Nah, once in a while, you know. You, you gotta bend the rules here and there, you know. You, yeah, as long as I, you I leave, think, I think that's. I think that's a cold motherfucker. You gotta today. leave. You, you go. gotta bounce. I got shit to do. You know? Yeah, yeah, I know. But takes 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 a cold motherfucker to bounce. What are you looking for, Mobles? I'll be seeing you out there doing your thing. I'm actually having a good time being by myself, you know, and, and just fucking yeah, taking right. my time now, you know. Before, what does that mean? Before growing up, you know, you know, hanging out with all kinds of bitches and shit like that, you know, doing my thing. Now, since I'm a little older and I already know what I want in life, I'm actually looking for companionship, you know. I want a solid chick to be next solid to Solid high high right? I feel you, Next man. to be by my side that, you know, that just, just, just going to roll with me, with me you know, with whatever it is I'm doing. Whatever it is I'm doing, just gonna roll with me. But you know what? It is tough for the type of business that you're in. Yeah. To find somebody that's down with that. Hey, yeah. I got a show Thursday night. I got a show Friday night. I got a show Saturday night. I got a show Sunday. Oh, you hanging with Baca doing all? You know? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You're walking. Yeah. But it, it, it is hard for a woman to kind of understand what's going on with us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have you had a struggle finding somebody that understands what's going on with us? Uh, not because I'm not looking for it, you know. I, I, so if it comes your way, it comes your way. Comes, yeah. And then that's where I actually start. There's chemistry. What's that something you're in an actual relationship? What's huh? that something you're in an actual relationship? I'm your boyfriend, you're my girlfriend. When's the last time that happened? Ah, uh, shit. I, I can't even remember. It's been. When's that time a girl touched you? Can't even remember, right? No, nah, that's right. <laughs> It's been a while, man. It's been yeah. a while. You know? hey, but man. I'm just so focused on myself and, and where I want to go in life right now. Yourself, you, know? right? you should be focused that comes That's right. If, yeah. if it's going to fall into place, it'll fall into place with somebody Amen. that I meet, then, then let's still be. You know, come on, let's go. You know? That's right. But I'm on the same boat, me, bro. Me, I've, I've always, if I'm going to take care of a lady, I have to take care of her. That's what right. That's I right. Have, I'm the one that has a crib. I'm the one spending the right. car note. I'm the one paying the insurance. I'm paying for everything. So if... She wants to get her. Look, you uh, see all these cameras to, right now? Tomorrow, get, when you yeah. wake up, you're going to be hit up by a lot of say, yo, I'm trying to go to a couple hip hop shows. Okay. At, at, at the end, I'm gonna be, I have to be the man of the fucking Yeah, I hear house, that. You know what I'm saying? And, I hear that. And then yeah. if, if she wants to pitch in and, and get a job and shit like that, then cool. That's right. Now we're, now, that, you have any kids? That's actually, I do have two kids. How, how old are your kids? I have a 16 year old and a five year old. There you go, man, doing your thing. That's right. If your kid says, hey, I want to be a rapper. You say let's do it. Yeah, fuck yeah. Mm, I, I wish no. I had somebody to school to me from you, being yeah. young. Yeah. Shit, I'll take no. you to the studio. I'll record you. There you go. Whenever oh. I, whenever I have a son, and I know I'm having a son because if the doctor says, hey, this is you have a daughter, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm out. I'm just gonna leave at the hospital. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need uh, that type of drama in my life. You know. Bro, I, I'm a kid. Yeah, I got a daughter. But my son says I want to be a rapper. I'm gonna say you can do anything you want. You could be a promoter. You can sell sneakers. You could be a doctor, but you cannot be a rapper. Because it is such a hard life to be a rapper, right? I mean, it's difficult for sure, but I mean, I, I, I would let him know that that's got to be your backup. You got to have something else that you're working on, you feel me? And you could do this on the side. I got an eight year old son. He's got a daughter. You know, we all got kids. But How old is your daughter? My daughter is 11. That has to be the most. Scary thing. Like yeah, we're, we're, we're reaching an age that it gets a little scary. Oh, hell yeah, man. No, I'm she's scared. A good, I'm she's scared. a good kid. You see that track on the fan? I'll you guys saw that. I'm scared <laughs> that if I have a daughter, whenever I find, you know, whenever Beyonce wants to step down, the chair right. and mine together, and I have a daughter, I am scared to death. 16 years from now, some jackass that looks like me is going to take my daughter on and, and, they are. and, I'm, and I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be open, and I'm gonna see, I'm gonna see all the bad things I did to women, and all the way I treat them bad, and I see it coming back to me, man. And I'm not ready for that. I'll be real with you. Uh, right when I had my kid, one of my homeboys, he's like, you know why you had a daughter? And this, this is my homeboy who had three daughters. And I was like, don't tell me that because, because <laughs> again, like what you just said, like, yep. man, I haven't been the nicest one out there, but I man, think about man. it, you know. And I love I, women. I, hold on, I, love I want women. to say, I want to say the camera right now. I've been a lot, lot nicer the last five years, right. but I, there were some things I, I regret. 
there were some people I owe apologies for to. Sure. Oh, absolutely. On. 100%. That's on. When I first started doing, I've been doing shows five years now. When I first started doing shows, I'm like, yo, all these people came to see me? I'm like, yo, I'm a fucking hey, man. Right. Fuck all y'all, let's go. Uh, uh, yeah, I wanna, you know, but I've been doing a lot better last Hey, early 20s are like, wild. Oh, early 20s are wild, G. 100%. There's some people I owe apologies to. You know, she knows who she is. Hey, everybody on the internet, that I, if I ever hurt your feelings, <laughs> man, I'm sorry, man. I love y'all. I, I love to, all of y'all. I've, I've had to get on his at Like, me and him have almost gotten into fights because I'm uh, like, let's hear about it. Let's hear about you it. You cannot fucking do this to them, bro. Yeah. You got to have a little fucking more respect. Yeah, I hear you gotta have a little. Tell her what it is from the start. Don't let her find out later. Amen. Amen. Be, be upfront. But, no, but but you know, lately he's. That, that, I'm, I'm more proud. I'm more proud the of. Last him. couple weeks he's been a good guy. You know. No, <laughs> no, no, no. You no, feel me for no. the past three days? <laughs> no, no. Last, la, the I last year, the last shit, year he's yeah. been doing better. You know. For sure. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. Look, I'm not in a relationship right now, amen, and I'm not amen. really looking for a relationship because I'm trying to focus on the music stuff, man. And and you know, it's hard with a relationship because that, that's a lot of time to focus. And I'm, Bro, not, I'm not the type me. of dude to yeah. have time. Lately. I got my like, relationship, got and I'm just like, fuck. She's on my ass. But you, <laughs> you, um, how long have you been in a relationship? You don't even want to know. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to ask any questions. Like, you know. I'm okay, a serial dater. I'm a serial dater, man. I've only been with her for what now? Like four or five months. There you go. I was dating her aunt. Aunt. Whoa! Oh, oh, I, I, I was dating her aunt before Are you her. Serious? Keep it in the family, yeah, dog. So, so she. Oh, 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 Yo, Shaq, get a zoom in on this guy here. Yeah. I mean, I mean, aunts and nieces wow. can be like a couple Shout years Joy, apart, right? right? <laughs> wow, I'm so excited. And she's gonna see this shit too. Hey, she ain't watching. Don't worry about it. Oh, I guarantee yeah, you, yeah, she's yeah. watching. It's all good. Wow, dude. <laughs> My God, look at you. Man. It's not even like that. So look, dude, on me, so damn. Look. So, so she, she, she brought her her niece over to come hang out and and, and hang with Biggest us. Biggest mistake of all life. God, and yeah, I, yeah. But, but I told her from day one. I said. Do not bring her around here again. I said this is trouble. He already for had his eye on her. She wanted to know why, and I said, "Don't even worry too about bad, why." Too bad. I said, "Just don't do it." What did she do? Four or five more times, brought her around, and then I, and then just one day, I was just like, "Look," I was like, "I can't do this with you no more," and I started talking to her, to her niece. So and but, but listen, you're leaving damn. out some details. How do you make this transition? So, like, hey, I can't do this. No I more. was already not really. And then you slide in her niece's DMs. No, no, I went the other way around. She sent you DMs. No, no, no. <laughs> she didn't slide in anything. She came over one time and and you guys were just talking. Just we were talking. just started yeah. vibing and then I kind of hollered at her. I hollered no, at her you, every but, time. You miss, you're missing the point. So you're hollering at her while you guys are just talking. Yeah, how does this happen? I want the details. Okay, she's over at my house. Yeah, with, with her <laughs> aunt. The we're all hanging out, right? My girl at the time goes to do laundry, right? Oh, damn. And so I did she I, go to do your laundry? It, probably, oh. <laughs> it was probably both of our laundry. Okay, but, okay, okay. But either way, I was already at the verge of like I, I I'm not feeling her, and 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 it was already not working. And then she brings her niece around, and then I hollered at her niece every time she came around, like. She could see it. I was looking at her. I was talking to her. She wasn't feeling it because she had a man at the time too that she was with the for two years. The woman that you with now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was with a guy for two years. So we kind of we kind of hashed it out. And I was like, look, Joy is gone. I'm done with her anyway. But I was like, I'm really fucking with you. And if you wanna, you know, if you wanna do this, let's do it. Pass that shit. And uh, thank you. She was like, okay. And then I went snowboarding in Utah for like seven days, right? So her and me are just texting back and forth. She's sending me pictures. We This dude just, called me. He called me and he was like, dog, you wouldn't believe what's happening. I was like, dog. Well, while she sending you pictures while you in Utah, you're still technically with her aunt, right? No, I, I was still with her aunt. I wasn't texting her. I was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, got, I, I felt too guilty yeah, trying yeah, to yeah, fake her out. out. I know. Yeah, I wasn't I know. about to sit there and be like, oh, I love you. And this yeah. kind of, no, 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 none of that. You kind of phase out. You kind of don't feel the same way. I feel it. And so I, we kind of organized the plan. You feel me? What plan? What are they calling today, bros? <laughs> no, 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 no. Let's, let's, let's call let's it what focus. you want. Don't hate. Let's appreciate. Focus. Let's focus right here. Uh, so you organized the plan. What was the plan? The plan was is the because she was supposed to, her boyfriend was in Florida at a at an like expo. A long, okay, no, okay. no, he 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 
is like works for a, a vape company and he's a representative and a sales and he, and he goes does expos and sells products and he was in florida and she was supposed to go and fly out to florida so i was you like never made that flight did never you? made that flight. Ah. so i told her i said fuck that fool i said fuck that flight i said i'm as soon as i land back in la i'm coming to pick you up i drove all the way out to fucking norco picked her up she said she was going to the airport to go to yeah, vegas yeah, yeah. to see her family and she came with me and the rest She's is history you ever since, right? the rest is history listen man and i love her bro there you go we've had some amazing stories on this on this show we've had cadillac vaughn drop his pants and show some tattoos hey, rest in peace rest cadillac. In you know cadillac, cadillac? yeah man that's cadillac's my boy one of my, one of my best friends hey that no fucking way I picked him up multiple times to come on the show. I but suffer was, from he, the same demon he that he did me, for he was 13 years. He had a little chopper sh- uh, tattoo. He chopped his pants and showed it. We've had some <laughs> crazy stories, man. But I think that might be the best story that the show's ever seen. It, we've done 115 episodes. I think that's the best story, man. <laughs> hey, I, 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 thank I can't you. thank you. Thank I you. appreciate thank, it. No, thank you for opening up and saying that, man. That's, that's a great Look, story, Look, I'm man. not going to lie. She knows the truth. Yeah? I love well, her, I love her, to, de- I love yeah. her to death, though. She's, you feel me? I've been through a lot of women in my life. Does she have a niece? No, <laughs> she's only twenty three. Okay, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. know. She just turned twenty four. Yeah. Actually, you know, yeah. but you know the Mexican family. You can you, know. you can have a niece at twenty yeah, and a niece at thirteen. Family, you can be an uncle at six months and the, the, the no, she's oh. not Mexican. Oh, well, so she's, she? she's she's actually she's part Hispanic, she's part uh, Native American, and part Black. There you go. Wow, man, that's awesome, man. Hey. Thank you so much for opening up, man. Let's do this, man. Look at this cam right here. Introduce your new video, baby. Oh man, this, hey, this is six feet. Shout out Big Lyric. Thank you, yes. man, for the video. Hey man, shout out Biz Turn Me Up for the beat. All day. And it's Swerve and Raw Daddy in it. And you know what? Shout out all the homegirls, the ladies that made the video. Yes. Shout out Erica, man, for we letting me follow the we house. I appreciate you. you. I love y'all. And I guess here we go, man. Six feet. This is the world premiere. Let Nobody has seen it yet. <laughs> B side four is back in it, baby. Let's go. I'm going to show you how to pay your dues. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people say it's racist. It's not racist at all, no, not at all. It comes from China. That's why. Six feet, bitch, pack up. COVID 19, fuck my ranks up. Black market pumping, got it back up. I'm locked in, might as well be locked up. Six feet, bitch, pack up. She tab out, show the exotic, dance and erotic, face of my product, feel a robotic, what we watching, Joe Exotic. Now I'm blacked out, Jamis and bottles, half naked models, hit that follow, hand sanitizer, you think I could borrow? Six, six feet, bitch, pack up. COVID-19, fuck my ranks up. Black market pumping, got it back up. I'm locked in, might as well be locked up. Six feet, bitch, pack up. She all up on the gram with her ass up. Scamming only fans trying to stack up Hands off, please, bitch, don't touch Need space from the people, not the paper Streets waiting, but they calling at home waiting When I arrive, disinfect the money that I'm making I smell a pig and I'm cooking, but it ain't no bacon State of emergency, I'm collecting currency Deliver for a fee, everything closed, no sports, no shows Making it rain on only fans, can't get no hoes Running it all up off a thigh, she don't even know Don't touch Bitch, keep your hands off at the checkout line like we in a standoff. Mask on, gloves on, yeah, that's Mando. Everything close but my fucking bando. Six feet, bitch, pack up. COVID 19, fuck my ranks up. Black market pumping, got it back up. I'm locked in, might as well be locked up. 
Six feet, Six feet. bitch, back up. back up. She all up on the gram with, with her ass up. up. Scamming only fans trying to stack up. up. Hands off, please, bitch, don't touch. Hands off, bitch. Why do you keep calling this the Chinese virus? There are reports of dozens of incidents of bi bias against Chinese Americans in this country. Your own aide, Secretary Azar, says he does not use this term. He says ethnicity does not cause the virus. Why do you keep using this? A lot of people it comes say from it's China. racist. Slum the motherfucking resident The park bench profit Product of my environment Poverty USA I rep that nigga uh. You already know what the fuck it is though man this here for my street niggas And all my niggas in the projects For all my hustlers up in the kitchen Cooking coke in that Pyrex Niggas out here hating on me Ask me if I give a fuck I got killers that kill killers My killers can't wait to let them guns bust Bitch, you looking at a real nigga So recognize a real nigga Those that know me know I ain't no phony I always keep it trill, nigga Fuck your swag and fuck your swag Nigga, this be that G shit When I was young they used to tell me that I ain't never gonna be shit 12 years old, started smoking weed 16, slanging crack 18, dedicated To these streets and making cash Now you read about me on the magazines See my fat ass on the TV screen But I'm still posted on the block Because real niggas do real things Purple weed, purple drink Syrup though, no Waffle House Round here we wildin' out And we ride around with them choppers out Nigga, bang I already know what the fuck it is, nigga. I'm fucking out here, nigga. NYC, Queensbridge, let's go. Who they gonna pick is me and you. Swag amazing and go through the roof. She says she like my mission too. Told her I need head while I'm in the booth. From New York, Queens, baby, I'm the truth. But rap ain't dead cause I'm living proof. Didn't have a crib, I fucked her on the roof. Better stack your money and stay out the loop. Tryna shoot your shot, then you better shoot. Tryna shoot your shot, then you better shoot. Couple gates, a couple killers I recruit. My favorite color, true, you know it's blue. They see you cooking, now they notice you. Think you got money, they all over you. Don't tell me lies, I'd rather hear the truth. Now I feel like two by four, he had the juice. I was running. I was spending money trying to, trying to see the sunshine My mama didn't really, really like it as a son I had to grind Every time I put my mind to it, I grind Then you see me shine Even when you think I'm down and out I'm still getting dollars all the time
What up, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Milk Jim Young Baka. Welcome back to B Side Form. We do this every other Wednesday night at a secret location. I guess not secret no more. At a location, B Side <laughs> Shop 626, man. We got great clothes. We got hats. We got all the thing you need, man. You need studio time. You need a place for your podcast. This is a place to come, man. At B Side Shop 626 on Instagram. Also, want to give a big shout out to my boy, Fever Mescal, man. New album coming out, man. Shout out to Easter River. Yeah. And if you don't know, March, May 22nd, May 22nd. May 22nd, we got Fever Mescal, Easter River, we got Noah James, Quick to Your Face, and we got Roca, all coming together to headline the Young Bach Production Show, secret location of the all ages event. You gonna to perform too, right? Hell yeah. There you go, there you go. Hell yeah, man. Motherfuckers right there. Easter yeah, River. Know it is, man. Shout out to Easter River, man. And this Friday night, man, we got Jerome Artest, son of Edward Peace, coming through, man. He's gonna do an open format DJ set. We also have some special guests, special guests, I can't say no names, but... You guys are small enough to put it all together, man. Saturday night, we got Ogle Out of Dawn coming through. Special location, secret location, Inglewood. And then Sunday, Fennis Beach all day. And at night, we're giving away $2,000 cash money. Cool to see Young Bach Productions and uh, Calories Music Group, man. I'm keeping it moving, man. I've been feeling your music, man. I've been feeling you coming on stage. You have an aggression when you come on stage, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I, I Where does that aggression come from? Shit, from all the bullshit of life has gave me throughout <laughs> the motherfucking years and shit. So I feel that that's a good way to put out some aggression and shit. You know, when's the Hell first time yeah. you stepped on the stage? How old were you stepped on stage? Not freestyle in the hood, not fucking doing your music. When's the first time you stepped on the actual stage? The first time I had performed in front of people was at the Redwood. In Maywood, right? In Maywood, in Maywood, yeah. right on, in Maywood with my own Mojo, yeah. Atlantic How long ago was that? In. Yeah, that's a good question. I don't. I really don't. Five years, sit, ten years. It's been like ten, like ten. No, yeah, like yeah. Five, been between five and seven around there. You know. I've never been to the red, red room, but it seems like it's a good vibe, man. Yeah. You got the outside patio. You got the inside stage. And all yeah, that yeah. Stuff, it's a man. real good vibe. And um, you're from Cudahy, right? No, I'm Maywood. Maywood. I don't mean to offend you, man. No, 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 no. In my mind, Cudahy, Maywood, 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 and my hoods in Bell Gardens. And Bell Gardens, all the same, man. All that. I, I originally came from Los Angeles. Yeah. From out Alameda, 81st Street, around that. We're like Watts, more yeah, in LA, yeah, yeah. you know, so I originally came from there. And when my pops got with my mom, my stepdad, he lived in Maywood. So that's when we came out to, actually, it's, it's Huntington Park, Maywood, Bell, all kind of clustered. A cluster fuck of little cities and shit. <laughs> <laughs> but on the area I grew up, you know, about high school, Nimitz. What's your goal with this music thing, man? What do you want to do with this music thing? Excuse me? What do you want to do with this music thing? What's your goal? Um, Just experience as much as I can, you know, especially now going on tour with you, going to Chicago. That's always yeah, a Chicago big two weeks, thing, man. you know, you Chicago know what, that's motherfuckers, you, hey, that's you know. That's how you know what popping, man. It took 45 yeah. minutes into the show to talk about Chicago because we have so many other things going on, man. Yeah. It's gonna be a great no, time, man. I, you, Lego, Sushi, Antoine, some of the resident young cast. It's gonna be awesome. Just time, man. the experience. I wanna experience just getting out of town and great, showing man. my music to different people, you know, different vibes, you know, just coming with it, you know, but representing Los Angeles at the end of the day because I've done shows out there in, in Salinas, California. Yeah. Right? So, like, I've, I've kind of gone out and that's. The big difference between Salinas and Chicago, man. It's gonna be yeah. awesome, man. It's gonna I, be great. I, man. I, that's we got a whole bunch of podcasts. We got yeah. a whole bunch of podcasts lined up. We got a whole bunch of radio lined up. We got two shows. It's gonna be a great time, man. We have so many Chicago artists lined up, man. If you're a Chicago artist, you watch this right now. If you're from the north side, south side, if you're from the loop, hit us up, man. 310 345 2909. I'm so excited, man. Chicago's already been showing us so much love, man. Uh, we got so much podcasting and stuff. Saying, hey, you guys coming through, jump on the podcast. Hey, we got 10 minutes for you on this radio station. Things like that, man. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for New York. I'm excited for Atlanta. I'm excited for New Orleans. I'm excited for everything, man. The plan's starting to open up. DJ asked me, COVID's over, so I'm excited, man. We're going for it, man. We're going for it. And like like, uh, like we said at the beginning of the show, man, we've got headliners every single Friday, every single Saturday. We got Terry Kennedy coming up. We got Fat Lip. We got uh, LD Sensei coming up, man. We got a lot of cool stuff, man. At Young Baka, at Young Baka Productions. If you want to rock any show, you need an address, hit us up. 310-345-2909, man. But like I said, I love your, I love your aggressive style, man. That's the shit I grew up on, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, underground shit. The underground you know? shit, that's the shit I fell in love with. It, it, it changed my life, man. It saved my life. It introduced me to a, a side of hip hop I didn't know about, and, and now here we are, man. I appreciate you Thank rocking you, man. this, man. I, I, I even have underground tattooed on me. Let me see your tattoo. Come over. Here's I want to see the underground, underground one. one. There you go. Damn, man, you 
blasted. I don't even know about it. That's underground good, shit right that's there. That's awesome. Hell yeah. They spelled they spelled underground wrong, but that's all good. <laughs> underground <laughs> shit. Right so I was like, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, for real, that's how I, that, that's the hip hop I grew up on. Immortal yeah. Technique back yeah. in the day, bro. Yeah, I don't bro. know, Andre Nicotina, you ever heard of him? Yep, yep. Okay. Mac Dre before anybody all ever ripped him on the track. You feel me? Shit like that back Still in the school. day. That's, 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 the, that's the underground I grew up on, man. I, I grew up on that underground shit. You know, obviously when you when you get older and you evolve, you enjoy different types of music, man. But that's still the type of hip hop that got me in the game, you know? <laughs> I tried to yeah. Push, 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 push. yeah. This one from me. I don't want to mess with you live. And so, how would you describe your music for somebody that hasn't listened to it, man? And when is the ultimate goal in this music? What do you want? What do you want? Oh, man, I want it all, oh, baby. I want it all. I want it all. would be there man the other half of the crowd wouldn't it wouldn't sell out and now he's the biggest boy on the planet oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh yeah 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 bottom yeah. of the list he would they, they were both lucky to beat him they were both lucky to beat oh, him oh big man. time yeah lucky to him. when i say that i say it to be like you know it's crazy man it's crazy. like legends already yeah you feel me but you know that's what i'm saying you could be somebody that's just barely getting on the festival you could be somebody that's doing shows for five bucks with half the crowd there and then you become the biggest artist on the planet, man. As long as you keep hustling, as long as you keep believing in yourself, whenever you lose confidence in yourself, that's when you have ambition. When you lose confidence in yourself, that's when you have ambition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me about it, yeah. So how do you shake it up? What do you do? Like, cause I'm not gonna let nobody hold me down, nobody hold me back, bro. I'm done with that shit. I respect that, man. So, what do you do when you have those uh, that self doubt in your mind once in a while? Same thing. I just try to envision what I want, not what's going on. You know what I mean? And I look for the solution in anything. You feel me? Like, I can sit here and bitch and complain about all my problems and the bullshit that I got going on, but if I don't. At the end of the day, put my mind to it and go and just fucking handle it. Because a lot of times that's what depression is. You know, you wake up, you don't want to get out of bed. You know, you got a bunch of shit to do. And you're like, man, fuck this. But at the end of the day, trust and believe when you get that shit done, it feels so much better. So I try to just, I try to just look past it. I know it's there and I know everybody goes through it. You know, whether you like to admit it or not, everybody goes through their, you know, ups and downs. And there's high times, there's low times, and that's just the fucking life, bro. It's one hurdle after another. And that's what God does. You know, he puts things in front of you. You're never going to have a fucking challenge in front of you that you can't get over. Just know that you can. That's why it's there. Everything happens for a reason. I believe everything yeah. happens for a reason. You feel yeah, me? Yeah, what happened. So what is your ultimate goal? What do you want to have this life? You want to, like I said. You want like chains? You, you want to keep adding on the collection? Man, they can want? keep these fucking chains, bro. I, you, like want I, I, you want the nieces? What do you want? I want the same thing, bro. The stages, man. I love it. I love to sit there. You just want to be seen, right? You want to be seen. No, I want people to, to to connect with my music and and respect it for what it is, and I want them to gain something from you know, like I want somebody to be like I used to. Yo Gotti, bro, another another person, bro. I used to bump his shit, cocaine music too, you know, <laughs> back in the day. Shocking. That's only shit. Real, ha- real early hustler shit. Too. You feel me? And I be in the whip, bro. I have his mixtape, like from the back of his trunk, bro. Yeah. And now look at him. You feel me? Like. That's, that's what I want. I want people to be in their car, vibing to my shit and getting something out of their life. You know, like right. whether they do the same thing or whether they respect the hustle or whether they're like you said, they're hustling in a different way, form or fashion. It's all good. As long as you out there getting money, yeah. like doing what you do and not fucking people, not robbing people. Yeah. Exactly. You know, Work for not a living. Raping, no raping, no pillaging, no bullshit. Yeah. 
You feel yeah. me? If you're just out there fucking, like at the end of the day, look, cigarettes legal, alcohol legal. There's more deaths that happen from DUIs and fucking people dying of cancer from cigarettes than any of the shit that I ever fucked with in my life. Yeah. So I try to look at it like that. Like Biggie said, I'm just out here trying to fucking get money to feed my daughter. Yeah. How painful is that in your face right there? The first one didn't hurt at all. The second one, I damn near fainted. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but how does that stay in? It's got a fucking T-bar in underneath my skin. But how's the anchor going? So it, once it penetrates the skin, no, it expands? No, they fucking take a, a, a razor, they cut a little bit of your Ooh, skin, and they geez, shove damn. one end in, and then as they shove this end in, pop the other end in. <laughs> you you more of a man than I am, my guy. Nah, man. How I, many tattoos you got? A, little, a couple. No, 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 no. 25. I got 17, all man. You know what I'm saying? I got these ones on my arm. You feel me all the way up. And then, like. So, 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 so. He really got the A18. He really got the A18 on him. I seen that on the video, man. He got the A18 on you, man. Take it off, man. There you go. That's dope. Look at the bear, dude. Hey, that's from Cartoon. You got a bear, a lion. That's from Cartoon. Which one is? Mr. Cartoon did that, did that line. Man, that's amazing, man. That was my that's first. Ta- right that was my first tattoo. Oh yeah. How long ago was that? 18. As soon as, soon as I turned 18, that's I walked awesome. in there and I, and I got that one. My mom, shout out to my mom for that one. It was my birthday present. She knew Mr. Cartoon personally. That's dope, man. And she made an appointment for me, and it was man. a surprise thing. She's like, I'm gonna get you a tattoo. My That's last awesome. name's King. Lion's the king of the jungle. You feel me? Your last name's King. My last name's Seriously, King. Seriously, like like yes. last name's King. King. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your name's King. K-I-N-G. You tested yeah. for great things, man. Which one's so. the most painful tattoo you got? When they when they went past these knuckles. Oh, on my I was there. Yeah. Oh boy, was shaking. <laughs> why do oh you think God. it's so painful? Just because it's just straight the, bone, The right? nerve endings yeah. end at your fingertips, and it's right on the bone, and, and I can't even explain to you, like, you know what a torch is, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You ever burned yourself with a torch, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it feels like they're holding a fucking torch to your hand. Because I've been through some pain. I had my face broken. I what tried you your, your face broken? Got into a street fight, and fucking dude hit me with either brass knuckles or his watch, something metal over his hand. Yeah. And it fucking. How old were you got in the street fight? It was I was 19. Jeez, dude, you got your face broken at 19. It, and it was not it like. Explains a lot, dude. It really does. <laughs> <a> lot, <dude. laughs> no, it was it was a real bad break too. It was called they call it a tripod <laughs> fracture. So it broke Jeez, in three dude. paces. It looked like my face was indented. Yeah. And my eyeball dropped in the socket. Whoa. They they told me had Damn, I come dude. to the hospital like any later I could have gone blind in the side. They had to take this metal thing kind of you know like the thing that crimps women the eyebrows it kind of looked like that but it was a metal thing and they crank it they, they scoop your eyeball like fucking oh, ice cream oh. and they crank it up right and then they went underneath my gum here through my gum and brought the bones back and i had this like metal plate on the outside of my face with wires running through the fucking bone for like i don't know like what three city months. was that in that you got on a street fighter the valley what part of the valley north hollywood where i'm from there you go was, was that a bar <laughs> It was road rage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wait. Oh, 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 road rage. <laughs> Both of our parts. Oh, dude, man. Dude was yo, dr- yo, Drac, we're going to have this guy back next week, man. This is crazy, dude. <laughs> he looked, so he was, we were on a one way. One you were 19 and he had road rage <laughs> on Lake Christian Boulevard. Look, if you're going to flip me off and get over the car the and shit, get out the dude, car, man. we're going to handle it. You feel me? I don't, look at my hand. Look at this. <laughs> This one's small, right? Yeah, I, yeah, broke, yeah. I broke this motherfucker like nine times. Like an idiot. You know what I'm saying? Hitting wrong. This motherfucker's just, always trying to get into a fight. Into so, so what happened? So you cut him off, he cut you off? No, so it was a one-lane street, right? And so we're both driving head on. And instead of him like going to the left, and me, or him going to the right and me going to the left, either way, he fucking flipped me off. And I was like, fuck you. So I got out the car, and he got out the car. And he comes up to me, and I was like, bro, what the fuck is your... And right when I... Before I even could say problem, he whacked me. So let me, let me cut you off real quick. Save that part of the story. Black, Mexican, Armenian, white. He was a white Still boy. Filipino, white boy, yeah. Yeah, but he... You can't but, trust him. Uh, well, see, I hadn't been to prison yet, so I hadn't seen a, a convict. Like but a now, white on white crime, you know? Now, you <laughs> know? <laughs> now I know, well, yeah. because I'm, I'm not even going to lie to you. So, look, <laughs> so he hit me. And fucking, I like stumbled back and had, I swear, you ever seen Nickelodeon, that green slime? I seen that, just, I don't even know what the fuck had happened, right? But I kind of got back up and I went and like grabbed him by his waist 
and there was like one of them blue construction bins on the street. I slammed him in there and I just fucking pummeled him, right? And I ran out of energy, hit him a bunch of times, and then he kind of backs up, goes inside. Dude, it was right in front of his fucking house. He goes inside his house, locks the door. I go to my, my grandmother's trunk because I was driving my grandma's car. She was a real estate agent at the time. And you know those fucking signs with the metal poles? I pulled that fucking metal pole and I start beating the fuck out of his car. <laughs> but then all of a sudden I start feeling this like, I can't even explain it. I like- This so, game over you, right? Oh pain. my God. To where I was like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. So I get in the car, I go home and- Drove home? No, I, Jeez, I, I, no, I was with my girl at the time, my baby mama. Oh, she was in the car with you? She was in the car watching all this. She looks at my face, she goes, oh my fucking God. And then she jumps in the driver's seat? No, I said she she had not driven a car yet. She was 17. <laughs> okay? But I told her, wait, I said- wait, 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 wait. I, You said you were 19. Hold on. Uh, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I know how it goes. I know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I got it too. Okay. What, am I going to no, fucking no, lie? Yeah, yeah, you hey, could. Hey, I guess when you're 30, you feel me, that's not I was with her for eight years. My baby mama. It's different. 19, 17 is fine. 19 and 17 is fine. I got you. It's don't like, let this guy get in your head. Man. So fucking, don't act like you didn't do it, you lying oh, yeah, motherfucker. Look at this guy, man. Hey, you know, uh, you know, allegedly. <laughs> so, so, so she's never drove in the car before. So, but, I, but, I look at her and I say, look, I'm, I'm, I'm fucking really not feeling good, and and I need you to drive this car. And she fucking like a fucking soldier, jumped up and fucking drove like the fucking champ, car like and champ. got me fucking home. And then fucking, I, I just, I, I, I'm, I, that's one thing I'm really, like, I'm not scared of much. I'm, I, I want to jump out of a plane, but I'm scared to jump out of a plane. I don't like fucking spiders. Okay. And, and, and the, you know, there's, there's very few things that I'm afraid of, but that shit was fucking, that shit was scary. You were scared bro. that you're going to go blind? I know or? that I was going to have to go into fucking a hospital and they're going to have to fucking put me under, like, surgery. So that's what you're scared of. I'm scared of the surgery. Yeah. Like going being under being, being not sedated. I fucking sedated myself. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you feel me? But, but, but going completely fucking under, being cut the fuck open, and waking up to God knows what. You right. know what I'm saying? I don't know why. But after that, now I'm not scared. Wait, you know? your fucking face. You know what? <laughs> Dude, it's my face, my eyeball. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that kind of, it kind of <laughs> got to me. So I waited. I waited till the next day to go to the hospital. And, You're and, crazy, man. And that shit fucking that's un hurt. That's unbelievable. So you woke up and you said, fuck, I gotta go. I, I didn't sleep. Yeah, because you were so much pain, pain, or? pain. you know? Dude, okay, so like I called my homie. Do you have any photos of this? Not, no, okay. not, not anymore, not on this phone. Well, when you find them, send them to the phone. Hey, hey, the cops I could get, took that I phone away. I could get the medical <laughs> records from UCLA. No, I believe you. I, you I know, know, see know it. and get the fucking x-ray to show you it. how fucked up my shit was. No, I believe you. Like, it was bad. So, so, so you go the next day. So I go the next and day. And they say, hey, if you waited. If you waited much longer, you could have gone blind in your left eye. Really? If you look real close, you could yeah, see. You could see a little slant. You can see where. What, in your nose? This one is, my eye yeah. is a little bit lower. <coughs> it does look like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now you say it. You see that? Yeah, it's yeah, 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 yeah. Like, if you really look close, one of them's still a little bit lower, but they- How long ago was this? About I was 19, so, fuck, 13, 14 years ago. Man. Which tree was you on? What it was, one? it was right by like Lancashire and like Riverside, like in like there, like if you know it, Camarillo turns into fucking Riverside yeah, on yeah. Lancashire Vineland, that big crossing. It was right behind like the Habit Burger in that neighborhood. I can't. We gotta get you on for oh, another show, uh, man. We well, check check me out. So so I got out of the hospital, right? I got out of the hospital. Well, it never. This isn't. A, this is a crime that never happened. But it was my intention. I was gonna go smoke this motherfucker. Because you knew where he lived, right? I knew where he lived, bro, and what he did to my fucking face. And it's one thing to fight a man one on one and beat him. And you could break his face with your hand, but bro, if you put brass knuckles on and you don't know me, you didn't even you didn't even say, bro, fuck you, homie, let's square off, bro. As he just, he just hit you. He just bro, bro, I said, what the fuck is your problem? He could have said, fuck you, homie, put your hands up. It, okay, respect, bro. We can handle that. But well, I'm opening. That's the way you do it. You do it one on one. You know what I'm saying? One on one, bro. And if you fuck, and, and if you really got a problem, and your fucking homies one and two, we can handle them right after this one. I don't care if I win or lose. I'm gonna get up, give me some water, bro, and we can get that. 
You feel me? I like that you take water breaks. Like, All right, you guys are next. You guys are next. <laughs> uh, I'm coming for you. I'm coming. I'm hey, I'm not even going to lie. Who's next? I'm not even going to lie. Bro. Up. Next, bring it up. And that's another thing. You got next. Hey, and that's another thing. When you knock a man down, bro, if you on the motherfucking floor, yeah, you, I don't believe in stopping unless somebody Unless you really yeah. ask him for it, like, I'm going to ask you, are you done, bro? Or are you cool? Or you want to yeah, get yeah, up yeah, and hit him up? We done, right? We done, right? Yeah. Hey, well, I didn't. I, had, I went hey, to jail. Hey, straight up. They call him the hand up. Yeah, I went to jail for an assault where the motherfucker, they got me for assault and battery. You were serious, Bob injury because I looked at him on the ground while he was covering his bloody face and I said bro are you fucking done you want some more and he fucking flipped me off and that shit just really got me bro so I fucking went back and I just kicked him in the head one time damn Ooh. man but yo we gotta get you back on the show again. <laughs> we got, I got so much stories and questions hey, no, but, oh but check this out so I went to this dude's crib bro you went bro hoodie bro mask gloves bro Wrapped up. This, for, this for, is God hospital, right? Couple days after the hospital. The day I got out of the hospital, Torres 45, strapped to the head, and I went to his front door, and I was knocked on the door. Nobody came, bro. He had a little. It was like a fucking outdoor, I guess not patio, whatever, with a fucking fence. So I hopped that fucking fence, and I was gonna open up his fucking sliding glass door, bro. Apartment empty. Empty. It was I, gone. I took it so far, bro. I went to the manager and I said, "Do you know where this motherfucker was?" That's incriminating as fuck. That's all bad. Cause they're gonna be like, "Oh yeah, this fucking dude looked like this fucking showed up here and asked these questions." He, she said, what a story, "She said, well, he was a fucking felon. He was on parole and he was out of here in a hurry." And I said, and I and I went one step further. I said, I said, I'll I'll pay you to tell me his name. She said, "I can't do that. I can't give you his personal information." I'm not gonna this old old Mexican it's lady. I'm not gonna harass. It's good that she did it, man. I'm not gonna harass this lady. So I just took it as God telling me that this right. was gonna be a mistake. It's good that me? you're not in prison right Amen. now. Amen. So it yeah. stopped thank me. God, thank God she did it. It stopped yeah. me from doing that, you know. And and fucking thank God because the later I thought about it, you know, yeah. I was young, dumb, did stupid shit Plus already. You were still jacked up from the from, from the, the fucking too. medication yeah. and yeah, the yeah. fight and the whatever the fuck they you had. You just you were just on fucking you know you were amped up, you know. You had so much adrenaline. I was so fucking pissed. You know what I mean? And so I fucking I yeah that happened. Bro. That was bad. I just want to say thanks for coming on the show. Man. You, no, thank you for having me. One I'm, of the best I'm glad, I'm glad I could give you one know I'm glad I could give a good story. Yeah man, yeah man. You know I watch with you guys. Anyone of the valley is doing me, man. You guys are always giving me that. Uh, we gotta get you on some new shows. And it'll be awesome, man. Oh, I'm ready. For the people that are watching, want to follow you, man. What's your Instagram? Swerve the King. Swerve space the space king. A18. Yeah. And your Christian Mingle, what is that? <laughs> the Christian <laughs> Mingle. <laughs> hey, look, the Christians are good with me, but. <laughs> Amen, brother. Amen. <laughs> we can mingle, but. My guy, you, you, man, you had such a great episode, man. I'm sorry I met you, man. Thank you. What's your Instagram for the people watching, man? Uh, definitely follow at Street Famous Entertainers. Yeah. That is the group Instagram. Uh, and also follow at DJ the Fuzz, spelled just like that. Yes, sir. And if they need that heat, they come to you, right? Yeah, you know. There you go, man. If you need that heat, you I come mean, whatever you need, you just hit me up, DM me. <laughs> you just make sure you know uh, somebody I know. You feel me? I got the plug on sand. <laughs> Love that. That's dope. I'm going to start saying that. That's dope, man. That's dope. Robles, let me know where they can find you on Instagram, man. Robles, the one that's R O H B L E Z underscore T H E underscore. O N E for your motherfuckers can't spell. Yeah, <laughs> Bro Blizz the one underground hip hop lives. Yes, sir. DJ Ash, where can they find you at? You can find me on Instagram at What's Up Ash. It's exactly the way it sounds. Yeah. yeah. At Young Baka, at Young Baka Productions, at B Side Form. We got shows Thursday, Friday, Saturday, two shows Sunday. We're doing our thing, man. A whole bunch of headlines coming through. We're giving away two G's. We'll find somebody in New York, all expense paid, food, flight, hotel. Interview on Hot 97, phone Brooklyn, from Manhattan. You guys, you guys signed That's up? That's us. That's us. You, you, know, know, you gotta me. do it, but you, you know, didn't you know, you you text me back. You didn't text me back, man. Well, I'm letting you know right now. Right now. Right here. here. I'm winning. I'm winning for this shit. Shout yes. out to Drag. Shout out to B-Side Shop 626. Come through. Get some merchandise, 130 and Shopper's Lane. We out here, baby. Hey, I'll tell you like yeah, this. Yeah, get involved, if we bro. We don't win. We're rolling up with you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah.